this video, I'm going to show you the all-new Roadrunner, a simple and easy-to-learn trading system that works for any market. Whether you're trading futures, stocks, or forex, the Roadrunner system provides simple and accurate signals for you to follow. The Roadrunner has been designed to use on the NinjaTrader trading platform and can be used with the free version of NinjaTrader. The Roadrunner works on all chart styles, including time-based charts, tick charts, range charts, or even something more exotic such as the Indicator Warehouse Mean Renko Bars. The Roadrunner has been specifically developed to give you high probability signals along with signal alerts so that you will know exactly when is the best time to take a trade. Let me take you through the program's features and show you exactly how all this works. The Roadrunner produces buy and sell signals through the use of these customized trend lines. We call the thick line the macro line and the thin line the micro line. When the macro and micro lines cross, signal bars are formed. These give you your cues to buy and sell. When a signal bar forms, the Roadrunner will give you an audio alert as well as printing an arrow on the chart so you'll never miss a trade. A trade is initiated when the next bar trades above the high of the signal bar or in the case of a sell signal when the next bar trades below the low of the signal bar. The Roadrunner also has a specialized filter at the bottom of the chart. This filter can be used in a couple of ways. First, the Roadrunner filter can be used to confirm buy and sell signals on the chart. What you're looking for is confluence. In other words, if the Roadrunner prints a buy signal, you want to see a green filter. This confirms that there is enough bullish momentum to take the trade. The Roadrunner filter can also be used to gauge the market's energy and help you spot early shifts in momentum. For example, when large green blocks, which signify bullish momentum, start to break up and begin producing larger red blocks, this suggests that the buyers are losing their grip on the market and that sellers are getting stronger. So if you're a trader who likes to try to run out of position as far as possible, the Roadrunner filter will help you decide when a trend change is coming and when it's time to bring your stops in a little tighter and maybe even set a profit target for your trade. The Roadrunner also has these bid and ask lines which show you the market spread. These are particularly useful for those of you trading the Forex markets as the bid and ask lines give you a clear visual of the current spread in the market. As a rule of thumb, the larger the spread, the more volatile the market is becoming. Also helpful in gauging market volatility and how far the market might go is the Roadrunner Ranger displayed in the top left corner of the chart. The Roadrunner Ranger gives you a breakdown of the daily trading range as well as yesterday's trading range and the 5, 10, and 30 day ranges. This gives you clues as to whether the market is expanding, making a more volatile market, or if the ranges are contracting and possibly leading to a sideways ranging market. As a side note, make sure you have enough data downloaded so that the Roadrunner Ranger can give you all the necessary data. To do this, right click on your chart, go to your data series, and make sure you load 40 days of data. This will give the Roadrunner Ranger enough data to display everything correctly. The Roadrunner Ranger is also useful for setting profit and stop loss parameters. For example, let's say you decide you're going to try to capture 30% of the daily range as a profit objective. If the daily range is expanding, as it is here, you might choose a higher figure, let's say 80 ticks as a possible daily range and 30% of that would make your target move 24 ticks in the E-mini. Likewise, you can use the Roadrunner Ranger as a tool to decide how far back your stops need to be based on market volatility. For example, if you use those same 80 ticks as a probable range for today, and you decide you will risk 15% of that as a stop loss, then your stop loss order would be 12 ticks back. So with the Roadrunner Ranger, you're no longer guessing at what your best profit targets and stop losses should be. Now you have real, certifiable information that you can use to plan your trades. The Roadrunner system is versatile enough to be used with other trading tools if you desire, but it's not necessary. The Roadrunner is a complete trading system right out of the box and can be used as is. And while the Roadrunner settings have been optimized to give you high probability signals for most markets, you can customize the Roadrunner to the market you're trading. To do this, simply right click and go to your indicator window. And from here you can see all the Roadrunner components 
You can make changes to your macro line, your micro line. You can make changes to your filter settings. You can change how the Roadrunner Ranger displays. And you can also turn on and off or change the way your Roadrunner bid ask lines display. So as you can see, the Roadrunner is a pretty powerful trading system. And like I said, it's been specifically designed to be easy to use by giving you clear quality signals that you can rely on. Now let me show you how simple it is to install it on your Ninja Trader. And let's take a look at a couple of chart examples. And it's going to include your Roadrunner program, some installation information, the Roadrunner chart template, and Roadrunner sound files. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these over to my desktop, and I will show you just how easy it is to install. All right, from here, we're going to open up our Ninja Trader program. Go to your control center, click on File, pull down to Utilities, and over to Import Ninja Script. From here, we're going to find our Roadrunner program. I recommend you download it to your desktop. You can always move it later, but it's easiest to find if it's on your desktop. And find your Roadrunner program file. Double click on that, and you should get the prompt saying that all your files have been successfully imported. Next, we'll download the chart template. And to do this, just open up your documents folder, find your documents, and find your Ninja Trader file. From here, I need to open the templates window. And now you can simply take your Roadrunner chart template and drag it over here to the chart file. Next, uh, we're going to install the sound files. The sound files need to be unzipped first. So here's your Roadrunner sound file. I'm just going to move that to the desktop as well. And now we're going to import this into the Ninja Trader program. We need to go to the computer itself, so to the C drive. And now we're going to find program files and we're going to find the Ninja Trader program. Here we've got a file marked sounds. Grab your file, drag it over to your sounds folder, and that's it. You're all done, ready to use your new Roadrunner trading program. This is the E-mini S&P on a 525 tick chart. And I'll just take you through some of the signals that developed here this morning. Right out of the gate, out of the open, we got a very strong signal. We produced a buy signal on a green filter and we got filled on the next bar. So remember the signal bar, we want to enter as the market breaks the high of the signal bar, which it did very well on the next bar. Nice little rally up. And after that, we get faced with a pullback signal. We have the signal here, but note the signal never filled. Came back with a buy signal, but again, never filled on the next bar. Came right back with a sell signal, and that one brought us in as the market fell below the low of the signal bar, and a nice little swing or scalp, however you wanted to trade that one. Came back with yet another buy signal, but again, there wasn't enough momentum at the time, so we stood aside from that one. Came back with a sell signal, also filled on the next bar, so for a nice little move low. Then the Roadrunner comes right back with a buy signal, filled on the next bar, nice little move up, sell signal, quick little move lower, buy signal was not filled, sell signal, filled on the next bar, solid move lower, then we get a buy signal, bought on the next bar, and that also resulted in a great move higher, another signal to short, and another strong move lower. So you can see the Roadrunner just capturing all these great moves higher and lower, and this was all within the first hour of trading. So a very profitable day here using the Roadrunner. Let's take a look at another market. The Euro US dollar pair, this is now on a five minute chart just to show you the versatility of the Roadrunner. You can see that during the European session, got a, a nice signal here, followed on the next bar. This would be our entry bar. So here's the signal bar, producing the signal. Next bar trades higher. So we would have bought, nice little swing up, produced a sell signal to short, filled on the next bar. Took a little bit of heat, but not much. Nice move lower. Another signal bar, we would have bought above the high of this bar so nice little rally higher note the sell signal here never filled market did not head any lower came back with a buy signal bought on the next bar again took a little bit of heat but nothing serious as the market continued higher and now we're kind of getting into the end of the session so the market waffling a little bit but a very solid day here trading the euro us dollar pair on the five minute chart let's take a look at one more example 
This is the pound US dollar pair and I'm showing it to you on a 20 range chart. Again, just to show you the versatility of the Roadrunner that it works with all chart styles, all markets. Here we are with the London Open. We produce a signal shortly after the market opens. It fills on the very next bar and just a really solid move lower. You can see we produced a buy signal through here. It, however, did not fill because the next bar did not trade higher than the signal bar. So that was the signal we did not take. It was followed by another sell signal, which was filled on the next bar for a quick little move lower. That came back with a buy signal, again, filled on the next bar. Great swing higher, another move lower. Market continues to fall off. We get a buy signal, but no fill. Come back with a sell signal and no fill. Come back with a buy signal, but note that this buy signal produced on a red filter. So that's actually a signal we would not take because we're not seeing any bullish momentum here. Filter tells us that the momentum is all to the downside. That was confirmed on the next bar when we produce yet another sell signal and that one does fill for yet another very strong move low. So uh, again, just to show you the versatility, the simplicity, the accuracy of the Roadrunner trading system. It's just such a powerful little trading tool. I think you'll be really happy with it. And remember, if you're trading the Forex, futures, or stocks, Indicator Warehouse will help you get the most out of your trading efforts. Thanks for watching.